This is Wi-Fi information unit. No, wait. This is Wi-Fi information unit. So as you can see, now it shows the time and then it shows, let's say, advertisement and then it goes back to time. Then it shows the date. You can set up anything, depends on your skills of coding. It's basically Arduino based. Inside is the ESP32 Wi-Fi module and two panels of 8x8 dot matrix display. So it's pretty much easy to make. The only problem for me was to actually set up the ESP32 to work on my laptop. You can download any code and if you're strong enough in programming then you can set up it for the news, weather, stocks, some simple messages and so on. So let's jump right in the action and see how it's made. Hi everyone, welcome to the Max 3D Design. I ordered from Amazon ESP32 and LED Matrix display and right away I started to designing a case for my new Wi-Fi information unit. So during designing I wanted to break apart my enclosure in four different parts but luckily I found the position that it can fit on my printing bed as a one whole piece. So while the back of my enclosure is still printing, I can prepare actual electronics. I removed the pins was soldered into the matrix display so that I can attach my own wires. Then I connected one more matrix display so that I can have 8 segments in a row. And it's time to connect my display to ESP32. And when everything is soldered together, I've uploaded the code to my ESP32 and it's time to start and check how it works. And as you can see, it connected to Wi-Fi, it shows correct time, it shows correct date, so when I'm satisfied with the result, it's time to put it in enclosure. I remove the protective stickers from display and put it directly inside. But as you can see, it didn't fit properly, so I had to use some ruler in order to apply some tension, I check that everything fits together, apply some glue, connect and check one more time. Unfortunately, it's a little bit blurred from the bottom because not all of the segments aligned properly with the actual lid. So I suggest you seven times to measure and one time to glue. And it looks like the second part of our project is ready, so let's put it on together. Unfortunately, the model from ESP32 from grabcat.com didn't match with my ESP32, so I had to cut these holders in order to place my ESP directly in the center. With a little bit of help of the hot glue, I managed to keep all the wires nice and neat. And it's time to close it. So when everything fits together nice and perfectly, it's time to glue everything together to seal it completely. I apply super glue in the perimeter, close the enclosure and put some pressure on it around 15 seconds. And when everything is ready, it's time to test it out. You can change the brightness of display in your code directly in order to make it more dim or brighter. And it's time to make it look like a finished product. So for that I sandpaper all the plastic, then I apply some filler in order to get rid of all the lines and bumps. Just be careful with the holes for USB and ESP32 buttons. Then I sandpaper it again until it becomes perfectly smooth. I close all the holes and display area so that I can start painting. So I apply first layer with the filler, then the second layer with the primer and then the final layer with the 
transparent lac spray. And our Wi-Fi information unit is ready. So basically you can set it up for your business to have your Instagram followers or maybe YouTube subscribers or Facebook likes. Depends on which code you will use. There is plenty examples in internet for ESP32 and Matrix display. I will put all the links in description below what was related to my project. For those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like the video and put your comments below.